Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's going to be 31 Days of Horror, Day 10. I'll be reviewing a horror film as I'm coming daily with these reviews and giving you guys my opinion and thoughts. So everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get into Day 10. My Day, day 10 review is going to be 1981's A Day of Judgment. This is a Severin release. Um, this is a slasher film from the early 80s, and it has a religious aspect to it as well. So let's get into the plot of this film. It's basically about, you got this priest, and uh starts off in a church, pretty much. You got like this small town set in the 1920s. Uh, it's in the southern area, so you have like a lot of southern accents throughout this film. And it starts off pretty much with this priest at a church, and there's only three ladies in the church. And he's pretty much telling him that no one shows up to church anymore. They've lost their faith and all this. So he's pretty much down. And he's pretty much leading, saying that he's going to have to leave because he's pretty much going bankrupt without anyone showing up to church. So he goes and pretty much tries to save the church, but he can. He's so much in debt and he's not making the money. And then you got this like loan shark, uh, loan guy that's treating him pretty awful. So, um, He's, he's on his way out of town. He's leaving in a wagon with horses. And he's pretty much people are treating him like, like scum, man. It's pretty... And not really good, nicely. So he, he leaves to the edge of town. And as he's leaving at the edge of town, he pretty much talking, you know, to the Lord and to, to God, pretty much telling him that he failed everyone. And he wasn't able to keep everyone with the faith. So um, he pretty much got a... As he's going out of town... He enters a tunnel and you have this like red light go on and you see another wagon coming ahead. It's nighttime and it's pretty much this pretty much Grim Reaper. He's came for judgment on everyone and he's pretty menacing looking. Uh, he passes through and they exchange and he said he's too late, the priest. So you fast forward to the town and you see a bunch of stories. You got a bunch of people in this town who are sinning and pretty much doing pretty awful stuff to each other and backstabbing each other and you got a lot of like i mean you have affairs going on you got cheating you got they're just cheating each other bad and doing awful things to each other so he's came to pretty much judge them and by judging them he he's going to execute them pretty much and he comes into this town picking these people off one by one and it pretty much leads to their final judgment i could i should say and it has an ending that I won't get into without giving spoilers, but that's pretty much what this film's about. Um, I'm going to get into my likes. I like the look of the killer and his weaponry. I look, I like the, the color aspects in this film. And there's one good kill that I liked and it go, it takes, it doesn't happen till towards the end. Um, now I'm going to get into my dislikes. This film's very slow. The pacing is just, Oh, man, it had me even, like, losing interest and turning away. There's way too much talking in this film, and it pretty much bored me out. Um, another thing I didn't like is there's a lot of off-screen kills. Like I said, there's one good kill towards the end. The rest are just, eh, boring. Um, you don't really see the killer that much. You see him, like, the slash... You see him, like, three times, I think, three or... Maybe three or four times through the whole film. Otherwise, it's just going on with these stories that are just uninteresting to me and i was like pretty disappointed in that um also it is very preachy this film it it goes a little overboard on the preachiness um there is a good moral story to this like a that that was pretty interesting but other than that it goes way over the top on the preach level um other than that, this film was a disappointment to me, and I was really hyped for this film. This was my anticipated release from Severin, so I couldn't wait to pop it on, and it just didn't do it for me, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give it the undead disapproval. I just didn't care much for this film at all, and I was hoping this to like this film because I was really hyped off the, the trailer. You'll see I have a little small trailer towards the end. wasn't much, but it that's what really got me hyped because the trailer looks solid but then when you watch this film it's just like i said the pacing the the dialogue the story just they lead to nowhere for me so 
That's why I gave it that rating, guys. It's going to be my thoughts and opinion for 1981's A Day of Judgment. This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Happy October. Everyone be uh, kind to each other. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. Take care and keep it horror. Peace.